Pakistan floods made up to 50 percent worse by global heating. The intense rainfall that has caused devastating flood across Pakistan was made worse by global heating, which has also made future flood more likely, scientists have found. Climate change could have increased the most intense rainfall over a short period in the worst affected areas by about 50 percent, according to a study by an international team of climate scientists. The flood were a once in 100 years event, but similar events are likely to become more frequent in future. As global temperatures continue to rise, the scientists said. The scientists were not able to quantify exactly how much more likely the flood was made by the climate crisis because of the high degree of natural variability in the monsoon in the region. However, they said there was a 1% chance of such heavy rainfall happening each year, and an event such as this summer flooding would probably have been much less likely in a world without human and dust greenhouse gas emission. Fekrin Otto, senior lecturers at the Grand Han Institutes for Climate Change and the Environmental at Imperial College London, said that the fingerprints of global heating could be clearly seen in the Pakistan flood, which were in line with what climate scientists has predicted for extreme weather. We can say with high confidence that the rainfall would have been less likely to occur without climate change, she said. The intensity of the rainfall has increased quite a bit. Historical records have shown heavy rainfall increased dramatically in the region since humanity had started pouring greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, the scientists found. Odo added, our evidence suggested that climate change play an important role in the event, although our analyst doesn't allow us to quantify how big the role was. This is because it is a region with very different weather from one year to another, which makes it hard to see long-term changes in observed data and climate models. About a third of Pakistan have been affected by the flooding, with water covering more than a tenth of the country. After more than three times the average rainfall in August, nearly 1,500 people have died and 33 million people have been affected with 1.7 million homes destroyed. For the country as a whole, it was the wettest August since 1961, and for the 2,000 province of Sindh and Balochistan, the wettest on records, with about seven to eight times as much rain as usual. While the increased rainfall has influenced by change to the climate, local factors also play a role in the flooding and its impact. For instance, Forests in the regions have been cut down over many decades, and range rove swamps removed with human-made dams, irrigation and other changes to the water course have also had an impact on natural flood pattern. Poor infrastructure, such as home, flimsy built in the places prone to flood, has also meant more people suffering as a result of flood. Pakistan faced a cost of at least $30 billion in damages with the loss of food crops alone, coming to about $2.3 billion, a particular heavy burden at a time of rising food price around the world. About 18,000 square kilometers of croplands have been ruined, including about 45% of the cotton crop. One of Pakistan's key experts and about 750,000 livestock have been killed. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.